Hello, welcome inside the studio. And today, instead of doing everything in fast, super <laughs> time lapse, um, I'm gonna break down a little bit for you how, how my process works and how I approach a painting. I don't always approach it the same way. Um, I'm an artist, I get bored, I like to keep variety. Um, but I'm gonna start with just a horizon line. And I'm working from two, I'm gonna bring that down a little bit. I like my horizon lines to be lower or higher. And when they're lower, I'm primarily painting the sky. And as I raise it up, it becomes more about the land. So this is part of a Lake Michigan series. And I'm working from two photographs. We have this photo um, of Lake Michigan, and I'm interested really in this part where the pine trees kind of spill. We've got a bit of a bay here. And I'm using a sky because I want an incredible sunset. Michigan does have those gorgeous sunsets that often do resemble those I see in Africa. And this one's taken from Ethiopia. So we're going to use that as kind of a reference loosely. And I'm going to put my sun in just a little bit for reference. And I'm working on laying down color more than detail, light and dark more than anything else. Not terribly worried about too much perfection at this point. In fact, I try to keep perfection out of the equation as often as possible. I think it's a killer of creativity and it can stop you and really slow you down and make you more, more I want to say, focused on the outcome than the process. And eventually you'll want to be concerned with the outcome for sure. But it does create, it does kill creativity in the process. So again, just kind of laying down those lights and darks. And I'm often asked why I start with an orange canvas. And, um, the quick answer is, in art school, one of the first things we did after we stretched our first canvas um, is we were told to pick a medium tone and cover our canvas with that, kind of get our DNA all over it, if you will, own it and make it our own. But the medium tone is also so that your lightest lights and darkest darks aren't so far away from each other. Your medium tone is already laid in. And I like orange because of the warmth. It's one of my favorite colors, but it also shines through a bit and gives kind of a general warmth to my paintings in most cases. So oftentimes with sunsets, what you get is a blue sky on top and as the sun is setting you get those incredible oranges and yellows closer to the horizon so I'm gonna meet it halfway now and lay in my blue sky just quickly again I'll worry more about the details later one of my great teachers, Robert Burridge, always says that under every great painting is a great abstract painting, and certainly I think that is true. And while I'm doing this, I will give credit where credit is due and encourage you to look up Robert, robertburridge.com. He's a wonderful teacher. If you ever get the opportunity to go work with him, I highly, highly recommend that. He's a lot of fun, too. You won't be sorry. But we all have teachers, and I think the myth about creativity is that we're somehow born with it. And the truth is, it's a craft that we practice and practice and practice. And I think, as Picasso said, we are all born creative. It's the key is to continue to be creative as you as you grow up and to keep that childlike way of looking at art and creativity. When I teach kids art in Ethiopia, they never say, oh, it's not very good, or 
criticize themselves like I do in some, I hear in some of my adult classes. Um, and again, that just kills creativity. The kids, no matter what they produce, just kind of beam at me and, and smile proudly, showing me this glorious creation that they did. Um, and there's just beauty in that. There's beauty in that, and I think we all need to tap into our inner child when we're when we're working. And be kind to ourselves because you can't expect your painting to look like somebody, a professional painter who paints every day of their life your first time painting. Of course not. Um, so in the beginning, it's so important to keep it about the fun and the process and. Okay, so that's a really loose sky. I'm going to go back in later and add detail to that, but I want this to dry a little bit, and I don't want to get too caught up in those details. So I'm going to add in my Lake Michigan. Remember, the scene we're painting is kind of a bay where we're going to have the sand and the trees coming in and again right now I'm just laying down color. What I'm going to do later is I'm going to go through and add all of those reflections because the, the water is only reflecting the sky, right? So there would certainly be some blue but this time of night with those amazing colors you're going to be getting a lot of that reflection. But for now we'll just lay in Go for some of the sand color here. Sand and kind of grassy. But it doesn't matter so much what every detail that the photo tells me about. If I really wanted it to look just like the photo, I would just reference the photo. The joy of painting for me, um, you know, I don't personally, anything that's tedious. Um, loses my attention quite quickly. So, painting's the same way. I want to keep it fun and about the joy, which is a great point, right? Um, painting, well, art. Art can be many things. It can express great sorrow. But for me, it's always been important to keep art about the joy. Um, I've always been drawn to art. I also collect art. And the art that's in my home is stuff that stops me in my tracks and makes me smile. And I want that same experience when I'm painting. I want to keep it about the joy, keep it fun. Life can be challenging and hard enough. I don't need my art to add to that. So I have a lot of respect for artists who do make statements with their art, but that's just not, not my thing. So trees are silhouetted at sunset right so i'm laying down a deep deep dark purple which i'll go back into later with colors because you'll also see the sun reflecting on it intensely at some points um, but for right now we're just going to lay in that And I'll come back later and bring you along to show you some of the details, but that's a really basic way to start a painting. Thank you!